Hi, welcome back to Rorick Knows Podcast. I'm Dr. Rod Rorick. I'm a board-certified plastic surgeon in Dallas, Texas. And today we're going to talk about tissue banking and donor tissue and its incredible vital role in both reconstructive and plastic surgery. And I'm delighted to have with me Lisa Miller, who's a senior product manager. She's been with MTF, this amazing company in New Jersey that actually properly processes donor tissue for use all around the U.S. in certain parts of the world. So, Lisa, welcome. Welcome to uh, Rorick Knows Podcast. Thank you so much, Dr. Rorick. I, I appreciate the opportunity to be here and to share with you and the audience uh, information about MTF Biologics and about profile costal cartilage in particular. So That's thank great. you. And what Lisa's talking about is, is, is a product that I use almost every day as a rhinoplasty expert, and especially in revision rhinoplasty, Often we need donor tissue, and in this case, it's rib cartilage. And we use a lot of rib cartilage because um, patients come in and they've had rhinoplasty and they're missing parts of their septum or they're missing parts of their nose and they have to be reconstructed. And often uh, they may not be candidates for using their own rib and, or they don't want to use it because it, it's another incision, it hurts, it's another donor site. And... And that's really where uh, MTF, this amazing company, comes in, into being. It's a real nonprofit company that, uh, that really has helped patients for years and years and years. In fact, Lisa, before we start talking about Profile, this fresh frozen rib, tell us about, tell us about the company. Tell us about the, why it's so different than other companies. Yeah, so MTF is actually one of the largest. What does it stand for? MTF, uh, Musculoskeletal Transplant Foundation. So yep. originally we were founded as an orthopedic company. We're in fact one of the largest and oldest um, providers of allograft tissues in the U.S. and actually the world. Um, and when I say allograft tissues, you know, maybe not everyone is familiar with that term, but really an allograft is um, a tissue, just like you can donate your organs, you can donate mm -hmm. your tissues, so your bones, your tendons, skin, costal cartilage, um, that can be used to be made, made into surgical grafts for other people. So we are one of the largest, oldest providers of allografts. Um, and yeah, we were founded by orthopedic surgeons back in 1987. Um, they were not happy with the quality and the um, safety of the tissues that they were receiving at the time. So they founded their own tissue bank. Today we are still governed and run by surgeons. You know, we are still a nonprofit and that really sets us apart. Yeah, no, it's great. And I think the, the biggest thing about MTF is that it is a very, very highly uh, internally regulated group of uh, individuals that really helps to give, uh, not only respects the donors, but also it helps you know patients uh, that need bone, they need cartilage, they need all kinds of other tissue. Uh, and it really helps them to get it and to know that it's safe and it's been properly done and processed. So, so let's talk about Profile. Now, Profile is a... Um, is a fresh frozen rib cartilage and it's certainly it's i use it a lot in rhinoplasty and in secondary rhinoplasty um, so tell us a little bit about that product and why i think it's so important that the viewer knows about it and it's how it's different from other types of donor tissue that people talk about like irradiated cartilage right. or anything absolutely yeah it's different so our um, profile costal cartilage like all of our allografts are not terminally irradiated now what is that tell us what that means so that means you are zapping that tissue with um, irradiation or um, e-beam in the final package it's usually a really high dose it's very concentrated and we know there are studies um, that you know prove that it does have a negative effect on cartilage on bone on skin um, you know it really breaks down the structure degrades the structure of the tissue and then it's not as biocompatible it's not as likely as to to accept the patient's own cells and to, right. it, to incorporate yeah. yeah it helps it prevents tissue ingrowth if it's too if there's some, too much done to the native matrix you know whether exactly. it's you know in this case cartilage so that's very very important and that's the big distinction as i understand it that mtf does and that's a painstaking process it is you know we process per usp standard 71 um, and that's the same standard that's used to validate the sterility of a lot of solutions used in hospitals every day. So we do know it's safe, it's sterile, um, but there's a lot more that goes into it. And it actually starts on the donor recovery side. So we have a very stringent donor recovery. Uh, we only accept like 2% of donors that are um, 
offered to us. So we, you know, there's a lot that goes into it, a lot more than just zapping it in the final package. You know, we make sure that it's going to be safe and sterile the whole way through the process. Yeah, and that's pretty amazing. You reject 98% of the donors. That's um, unbelievable. And I think that really speaks to the quality and, and credibility of your company. And really, it was one of the reasons why over 10 years ago I said, yes, I am definitely going to start using fresh frozen rib or the profile in, in my nasal reconstructions because that is a true separator completely in that. So, so tell us a little bit about that. So, so how is it used in humans and, and um, for let's take the rib, the rib graft. So what, what other uses does it have? I mean, obviously I use it a lot in rhinoplasty and um, well, that is the main use. Um, it can be used in like revision rhinoplasty, some primary rhinoplasty, cleft rhinoplasty. It can be used in microtia reconstruction. Actually, we do have a, another costal cartilage allograft that can be used for total ear reconstruction. But really, you know, profile is used primarily, you know, for rhinoplasty. That is the main main use. Right. And it, and it, and it comes in different segments. You can get the segment itself just with the rib yes. and then you can actually get it in different areas in different types of segments tell us about that so we have sheets and segments so we are the only allograft provider that has a pre-cut sheet so it comes um, pre-cut to a thickness of two millimeters it comes in different lengths anywhere from two centimeters you know up to five five plus centimeter uh, centimeters and then we do have segments which are thicker where we don't manipulate the thickness so you know we have a whole portfolio of codes for surgeons to choose from you know per their preference or you know really suited to the patient so you're not wasting tissue right and i think you know for myself i actually like the the type of segments that actually are a little bit you know above maybe above 40 because they have a little bit more of a yellowish hue which means that they have a little calcification, and I like that because it has less chances of warping. Because rib rib can warp, and then how, can you guarantee that that the graft is not going to warp? It well, it, part of our process for sheets is they have to go through a straightness gauge. So you know when it gets out of our hands, you know in the package, it's straight. We make sure it's straight, but is it going to? remain straight, you know, after you thaw it, like you said, it seems to be an inherent property of costal cartilage that it wants to, to warp. Um, so, you know, no, there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee that autograft, right? If you took it of from the patient, it's, the same. it's, the it's same. not going to warp. So no, not a hundred percent guarantee, but we do everything that we can, you know, including, you know, checking that straightness with a gauge before we send it out to the doctor, to yes. the surgeon. Yeah, no, I know yeah. that. And, you know, I've used thousands of it in, in, in hundreds and hundreds of patients and and it's really been amazingly durable. I see in growth when I go back and uh, and do revisional surgery on these patients. So it's really it's been an amazing transformation, and the patients love it. No donor site. Uh, it's pre you know you can uh, order it preset pre pre uh, pre done so that it's fairly rapid and you can use it you know off the shelf. And I think that's the amazing part about this type of uh, fresh frozen rib, which has really been transformational, I think, in revision rhinoplasty and certainly in my practice, you know, that I see patients from all around the world that need, you know, reconstructive and, and, and uh, secondary rhinoplasty that have had significant problems with their nose and they need to have structural framework redone. So I think that's fantastic. So. Yeah, I mean, it allows you to avoid a secondary surgery site, you know, having to take their own cartilage or a prolonged recovery, pain, scarring, shorter, you know, time in the OR for you. So, yeah, really it has revolutionized. And you've been a big part of that. So we, we thank you for continuing to use it, support it. Well, I only, I only use things that actually work and that are reproducible that I really think are, you know, I think really among the gold standard of what we should be doing. And I think... The, the market, dif the differentiator is that irradiated tissue is, is one with, which has really been zapped with a lot of irradiation and, you know, that's just not the case with, with any of your products. And, and, and we're talking about Profile, which is the fresh frozen rib, and it really gets gamma radiation like we get for food. And it's been done for, for, hundred, you know, for decades and decades in the United States. So, so it's safe, it's easy to use, it's off the shelf, and there's no donor site. I think that's laudable. So... Um, what other things that um, that you see with profile and other things that that are from MTF that are on the horizon that that really are going to make a difference to patients? Well, with costal cartilage, you know, we are looking at 
perhaps providing um, an injectable cartilage that could be used for non-surgical rhinoplasty. You know, we need to flush that out first and, you know, see how it's going to work if there is longevity to it because right now fillers are being used, you know, so we would want something that's going to perform as well as or better, you know, long term. Um, but we have a a whole portfolio of other allografts that can be used for, you know, dermal grafts for, for women who've had breast surgery, um, also dermal grafts for um, hernia repair, abdominal wall. We have wound care, a whole wound care portfolio, so many allografts. Um, you know, every, it, one, every minute of every day an, an MTF allograft is being used, so it just covers the whole gamut of surgical applications. That's right, and I think the other thing that you should mention that I'd, I'd like to mention is that really your your company really honors the donors, you know, as much as we appreciate, you know, and use, you know, the donor tissue, but you honor the, how do you honor your donors? Well, it, it's always, you know, for, forefront for us. We have a program called Linking Lives um, where we can actually have um, donor families be connected with recipients. So a recipient who has received one of our allografts can write a letter to the donor family. Um, but it just gives donor, donor families such a sense of purpose and comfort to know that their loved one, you know, is, is living on in, in someone else. And, you know, whenever we have surgeons come visit our facility, we always talk about the, the donated gift. We try to maximize you know, the tissues that we provide so that we're always doing best by the, the donor family and, and that gift. That's great. Great wise words from an amazing company. And Lisa, I really want to thank you for all, all, of, all that you've done in 24 years at MPF. <laughs> you know, it's a good company when you have all these people that have been there so long. I mean, that's really outstanding. And so I, I, if, you, if you have any comments about fresh frozen uh, rib or any of the products that we've talked about please leave me your comments and thoughts and uh, we'll respond to you i think the, the biggest thing is that we want to do things that are that are good for the patients that are uh that are longer lasting that are easy to easy to use and safe i think those are the main things wouldn't you say lisa that are, are the take-home points absolutely yeah. yeah safe it is sterile and um convenient for the surgeon, yeah, absolutely. That's great. All right, Lisa Miller, Senior Product Manager at MTF. Thank you again for joining us today uh, with the use of fresh frozen rib, which is called Profile at this amazing company. Give us your comments and we'll see you next time.